For nearly 2,500 years, physicians in the profession of medicine have recognised that assisted suicide and euthanasia are not medical treatment, and this p position should be maintained and these interventions kept out of medicine. My colleague, Dr Donald Boudreau, and I have written a peer-reviewed published paper on that to which I can give you the reference. Consequently, a new profession should be established to carry out euthanasia. The practitioners should not be healthcare professionals, or if so, only ones who have permanently retired from practice. Practitioners should be specially trained, licensed, and have travel money provided to give people across Canada equal access to euthanasia. If this approach is not adopted, two publicly available lists of physicians and institutions should be established, those which will provide euthanasia and those who will not. This is a reasonable compromise between Canadians who agree with euthanasia and those who oppose or fear it. The Supreme what Court emphasised that the charter right to security of the person includes freedom from fear about what could happen to us when we're dying. This seems often to be forgotten with respect to those fearful of euthanasia. This approach will also solve most freedom of conscience issues. Health care professionals must not be forced to provide or refer for euthanasia when they have ethical or conscience obligations to doing so.